Hey guys and girls, welcome back to a brand new video and in today's video I have bought a mystery box off the web again. Remember the one video I done the other week? Well I've bought another one guys and this time it's a haunted and I'm saying haunted because I don't believe in haunted mystery boxes off the dark web. It's currently 11pm guys so you know we're, pretty, we're reaching midnight so I thought this would be the perfect time to open this guys. So I have no idea what's inside this box. I haven't opened the box yet but if we move it there seems to be a few things in here it's not as big as i was expecting i was expecting a nice big one like i had before but this one is literally like that's it okay it is tiny let's open it i guess let's open it I'm, i am nervous so let's open this up okay how do we do okay this is weird so this is what is in here First thing inside this mystery box is a broken down pencil. Yeah, a pencil, like it's broken half. Um, it's just a no ordinary pencil, like sketch and pencil, HB. So yeah, we, we have a pencil. Um, okay, we also have a note, I'm pretty sure that, okay, maybe I should have wore gloves and a mask. What is that? I'm quite concerned now. Uh, it looks pink. It doesn't look like blood. It looks too pink to be blood. So, yeah, I'm gonna read that in a moment. I just wanna, like, have a look in and empty the box and see what we have. So, what is it with these baggies? We have a little bag here. Um, with stuff in. I'll open that in a moment. I have this little crystal ball. Uh, there seems to be like something on there. I have no idea. It looks like it's meant to be on the top of like some ornament or something. I don't know. Maybe they maybe they just like put that in there just for the fun of it. And I also have this. Now I know what this is. Do you guys know what this is? I know what this is. It is. It's meant to be. Um, I'm pretty sure it's called a divot box or divvy box. Like it's got, it's waxed in. Like the whole entire area is just waxed in. And nah. I can't open that even if I tried. But I might open it later. It's got like a wax on it as well. I don't know. This is weird. There's definitely stuff in here and it's heavy to be honest with you. Let's open the bag first. Let's have a look what's inside this bag and uh, yeah that's not creepy at all like, so that's my it's it's two eyes I've worked that bit out that it's two eyes and there's a cross an upside down cross on the forehead and one eye has got like a hole through it and the other eye has just got like scribbles all over it so yeah that that's not creepy at all like that's very creepy what the Hell, I'm kind of scared. Okay, it's a piece of string. Is it a wick of a candle? It's got some sort of wax all over it. Let me see if I can like. And it looks burnt. It's definitely got some sort of wax all over it. That is so weird it's got knots in it as well like does this represent anything can anyone like if you're watching this and you're into all your haunted stuff can anyone like point me in the direction of what the hell this is or is it literally just a piece of string with wax on it that's being burnt i don't know it's kind of weird i don't know i really don't know okay so we also have i'm really not sure where this is and i don't know if i should pick it up but it's like I wish I could smell, guys. Like, the funny thing is, I've just had COVID, so I cannot smell a thing. So, this could smell like something. Anything could smell like anything, and I just can't smell it. So, I have no idea where this smells, so I can't really identify it through smell. But what I can say is that it's... It's almost like some sort of... Cork, or whatever that stuff is called that is used for building. What the hell is that? Maybe I shouldn't be breathing this in. 
I don't understand how any of this is haunted. It's creepy, like the eyes. I think the most creepiest ones are definitely, oh crap, are definitely these. These two, like the eyes and the, the string. Um, the, the pencil is just a pencil and this is just a ornament ball. This, I, I'm really, can someone identify this to me guys. You guys like seem to identify everything in the last video. So can anyone identify this because I have honestly, no, it's like little hairs or something. What else do we have? We have this little note. Just gonna like write it all over it. Um, okay, what's it say? Please do not, and it says like, do not in capital letters with lines underneath it. That march really put me off. It's like a, it's like a drink spill. Um, open, please do not open the wooden box. I have passed this on as a gift. Please pass it on again for good luck. If you open the box, whatever is attached will be left free. It was gifted to me from a friend who claims to be haunted by a demon. Okay. <laughs> I do not take any of this stuff seriously. Like this box, I am not taking seriously at all. This letter, like I am not taking it seriously. Like anyone could have read this. Anyone could have like put anything in here. I do not believe in mystery haunted boxes, if that makes sense. Like I don't believe in the haunted side of it. I do believe in ghosts. I am a very spiritual person. I've I have encountered stuff in the past. I've been urban exploring, you know, I've, I've seen stuff that I can't explain whether you believe in ghosts or not. And I don't believe in someone putting together a haunted box. There's always a chance that it could be. There's always a chance that it couldn't be. I personally don't know. I don't know the history on any of this stuff. I want to know what's in here. There's definitely... I'm really interested, like really, really interested. The design is pretty sweet. Look at the design on it. It looks hand painted. You can't really see because of the the wax on top. Shall I open it? I'm gonna, guys, I'm not, I, no, you know what? I'm not gonna open it a minute. I'm not gonna open this divot box. I'm gonna literally put it back in this box, in this haunted, haunted box full of all these cool little things. Oh crap, the paper is haunted, it jumped out. All this cool stuff. I'm gonna put it back in here and I'm gonna decide, I'm gonna let you guys decide. decide. Should I open this or should I pass it on? Let me know guys, I want you guys to decide. If I do open this video, and if I do open this, I will do a video, obviously. Um, but I want you guys to let me know, I just need to leave my address. I want you guys to let me know whether or not to open this. And I'm gonna keep it for a week, and in a week's time, we will decide whether or not we're gonna open that divot box. And I, I, I just wanna open it, I just wanna know what's inside it. Everything, it sounds really cool. How, oh my God, I guys just, oh everyone comment open it and i'll open it i swear just just let me know guys let me know what you think of this video did you enjoy it do you enjoy my mystery box and openings if you do guys let me know and i will do another one i'll order some random one some like expensive one or something and i'll do an unboxing of that guys and let me know if you want me to open that divot box because i personally want to but i don't want to get possessed and I kind of feel like I need you guys on my side to agree for me to open this before I actually open it. So let me know what you think. Please, if you do like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up, guys. Let's get this video going. And if you do enjoy my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 7,000 subscribers, but I'm not stopping. And I'm not putting 7,000 as my goal. I'm putting 8,000 as my goal. So we're on the road to 8,000 subscribers. It just amazes me on that number. That number just friggin' amazes to be guys i'll see you all in the next video it's been your girl it's been real it's been fun it's been freaky and it's been scary i'll see you all in the next video love you all bye